and good morning my friends so today i thought i would do a kind of chill let's take care of my ikea greenhouse vlog situation so yesterday i made the unfortunate discovery of finding spider mites in my <laughs> lovely ikea greenhouse cabinet now so many people have told me when i was concerned about spotting spider mites in there um about a month ago so many people have told me that it's impossible to get spider mites in the cabinet because the humidity is too high etc etc but you guys there is freaking spider mites in there again oh it stresses me out i discovered them again yesterday and i was just so overwhelmed with it and i was not having a great day yesterday today i'm feeling better so i thought we would tackle it together um first i will give you guys a little update of how the plants are doing in the cabinet and then we are going to inspect and take care of these spider mites it's just so annoying i hate spider mites and they're always here they're always on my plants like i just have the spider mite curse and yeah it's very annoying um so yeah let's just um take a look do a little update of the cabinet did i even do a proper intro i honestly don't remember but hi hello my name is fern i make houseplant videos here on youtube <laughs> okay so this is what we're working with like i said i discovered spider mites like pretty much right after i set this all up so i have kind of put a hold on adding new plants into here so there's still a lot of empty spaces um, and I thought the spider mites were gone, but obviously I was wrong. The fry deck here definitely, definitely has spider mites. I saw them yesterday. This Cebu Blue looks a little sad as well. I think it probably has spider mites also, unfortunately. I just put that on the moss pole, so that sucks. Um, okay, so... And yes, somebody corrected my pronunciation of Cebu, so apologies. Um, I will try to call it Cebu instead of Cebu from now on. Um, okay, so what do we have going on here? I have another Cebu Blue um, propagation or cuttings that I potted up right there. I have my Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegata there. That's doing really well. It just recently put out a new leaf right there whoops so cute and they're getting so pink from being under the light here this is a monstera dubia um little tiny baby which i don't even know if it's gonna make it i honestly have no idea what i'm doing with this plant so yeah <laughs> has a zip tie around it because i was trying to like fasten it to the thing my monstera albo here which is honestly like not looking its best as you can see i think i'm gonna cut this off uh, i don't know i wonder if this has spider mites too like uh i honestly yeah i don't know we're just gonna have to take everyone out and inspect them but this plant i want to do well obviously i want all my plants to do well but um yeah we'll check out the situation uh a b baby begonia chilling there doing well my Skindapsis um, Silver Splash actually is just unfurling a new leaf there, so that's exciting. Frydeck, who definitely has spider mites, does not look too hot. My Dragon Scale, which honestly probably has spider mites if they're in here because it's in Alocasia. It's putting out a new leaf there though, so, so cute. Like, look at that. I'm so excited about that. My philodendron gloriosum, which is absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed with this little plant. Look at how nice that leaf is. Like, are you kidding me? That's so pretty. Oh, it's so cute. And it's going to put out another new leaf there as well. Oh, yeah, my other philodendron gloriosum. I want to move this to the bottom shelf because I think that it's trying to go towards the light from that shelf down there because it's just, like, pointing downwards. <laughs> it's so weird. Um... Okay, moving along, more Cebu Blue, a um, variegated string of hearts, little baby that's doing well there. My Hoya Obovada, which has blessed me with two new leaves. Look at how cute that is. I'm so excited. This is the first, these are the first new leaves that is put out since I got it in September. So really excited about that. My Thai Constellation, who is pregnant. She has 
a little baby leaf bump. Um, just patiently waiting for that new leaf to come out. I'm so excited. My Abelisingonium, which is just doing the most. She is so beautiful. I am obsessed with this plant again. I really lost interest in it because it was not doing well for a long time. But I think it's just like established, re-established itself now. Um, I had to regrow it from cutting. So it's re-established itself now and it's putting out like the most beautiful leaves I've ever seen. Um, so yeah, it's got a new one coming in there. If you can see that. My gosh, it's beautiful. Anthurium clarinervium, which is honestly not doing much. I'm not sure what this plant's problem is. Um, it has not given me a new leaf in like probably half a year. And this one looks to be yellowing. I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. I thought it was going to become happy when I put it in the cabinet. But, and this plant has always done so well for me. But, oh my god, what is that? It has like, can you see on the petiole it has... Are those spider mites? I have no idea what those are. We're gonna have to look at it, but there is something going on in this cabinet. Oh my god, hopefully they're not thrips. I would croak. Oh my god. Well, we'll, we'll um, figure out what's going on here. Um, and then this, this is what I noticed yesterday that got me stressed. This Anthurium vitrifolium um, is infested with something I honestly think that these might be thrips instead of spider mites. Good God, help me. Oh, anyways, they have completely killed the new growth that was coming in. Um, yeah, something, something bad is going on here, you guys. Something bad. Um, so... <laughs> This is kind of a depressing um, first cabinet update. My Calathea white star here is doing okay. It's putting out a new leaf. It looks so weird though. Why does it look like transparent? That's so weird. This, I feel like everyone in here is just like a hot damn mess. Like, what is going on? Except for this guy. Okay, I'm gonna take all the plants out so that I can get a closer look. I just feel like this is really bad news bears, you guys. Really, really bad news bears. Okay, guys, I am like 90% sure that we are dealing with thrips. Oh my god. What a nightmare. Like, what an actual nightmare. I don't know if you can see on camera, but these do not look like spider mites. They're like long thrips are like longer and slender oh my god i've only dealt with thrips once before and it was a nightmare they were on my alocasia stingray and i did treat them pretty much the same as how i treat spider mites with the neem oil i know some people say that doesn't work but it does work for me so that's what i'm gonna do but oh my god I guess the good thing is that the cabinet is like a contained environment um but yeah that still really sucks i'm gonna have to treat every plant in there continuously like every few days oh my goodness i wonder if the thrips are just in the bottom level where these plants are or if they're on the top as well there's definitely spider mites on the top i can see them on my fry deck so we have both. We have both, folks. My goodness. Okay, so I have pulled out all the plants that were on the bottom level. I'm going to do the cabinet um, in each section. I can only see them on the anthurium. This one and this one. And the others, I haven't really spotted anything. But we are still going to treat them all and web out the cabinet and all that good stuff. So I am just going to begin by spraying these guys down with my neem oil solution, which I already have mixed up from treating spider mites. So in this spray bottle, there is neem oil, dish soap, and some isopropyl alcohol all diluted in a bunch of water. 
I will put the measurements that I use on the screen but yes this is what we are going to do it's like it looks a little weird because when the neem oil is cold it hardens so I just like shake it up and I think it's fine um, but yes I'm just going to spray these plants everywhere I'm gonna spray top bottom leaves uh, the moss the pots literally everywhere so um, and then I'll probably just like gently rub the leaves to remove them so let's just get cracking on that Okay, so I have cleaned all of the plants that I took out of this section of the cabinet and now I'm going to just wipe out the cabinet. I don't think thrips really like take over the environment as much as spider mites because spider mites will live anywhere, there will be webbing. Um, so I don't know like how much thrips live off, off of the plants I guess is what I'm trying to say but I am not going to be taking any chances and I'm just gonna wipe everything out anyways. I mean, I might as well, it probably needs to be wiped out regardless. So I'm just gonna do that quickly before I put them back in. I don't think I'm gonna put the anthurium back in. Oh, I don't know what to do. I feel like I shouldn't because I can't see thrips on the other plants yet. I think I'm gonna keep them outside the cabinet though, which they're probably not gonna like because they're used to the humidity in here, but I feel like that's gonna be the best decision. Anyways, let's wipe this out.
Okay, so it is all wiped out and I'm going to go ahead now and put all the plants back except for my anthurium. Okay, so for the anthurium, I just decided to put them in the plant room, but on the opposite side of the room from all the other plants. So they're not near anybody else over here. Um, so I'm just gonna keep a really close eye on them and probably keep treating them every two to three days. And yeah, hopefully I can get rid of them. I should cut this off actually. That new growth unfortunately is like completely yellow. It doesn't wanna focus, but. Yeah, that new leaf is toast, unfortunately. I love this plant so much. I would be so upset if, um, if it got killed by a pest. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I decided to put them in here. Okay, so now I'm going to take all the plants out of the top section of my cabinet and um, treat everyone the same way and wipe it all out. I Like I said, I know that there's spider mites in here. I can see them on my fry deck but we will find out if there's also thrips hopefully not because spider mites just doesn't seem that bad in comparison to thrips now so yeah let's just take them all out and i'll let you guys know what i spot okay guys the sun is actually coming out so i can see pretty well right now i don't know oh where to go now i can see something crawling and i think it's a spider mite but i'm second guessing myself and wondering if it's a thrip okay i think it's just spider mites on these plants i don't see the same like long little white things everywhere like i did on the other plants um, regardless, I'm obviously still going to spray all of these. Um, I could not get the camera to focus on <laughs> what I was seeing. But yeah, it's honestly so hard to tell. I really need to get those like magnifying glasses. Planterior Decorator recently did a video where she showed like a bunch of random planty tools that are useful and um, she showed these uh, magnifying glasses and I was like, oh my god, genius. So they're in my Amazon cart. I've been putting off ordering them, but I'm gonna be ordering them after today because yeah, I just need to I need to see what's going on on these leaves. <laughs> and I got hungry so having a pizza break this is the it, this is just a frozen pizza by day it's the mushroom and garlic one I threw away the box or else I would show you but um I had never tried like frozen pizzas <laughs> before because I just assumed they wouldn't be good but this is like pretty freaking good it's with the cutting board shreds um which tastes like cheese to me it's really good so yeah i just thought i would share but i'm gonna quickly quickly eat this pizza and then we will resume our plant cleaning i just wanted to quickly show you guys how beautiful everything is when the sun is shining i'm so grateful for the sunshine i also want to quickly mention that a lot of these plants were thirsty which is why i'm kind of drenching them as i clean but if your plants do not need to be watered you have to be really careful when you're washing the leaves to not overwater them um or else they will rot but yes most of these plants were thirsty already which kind of works out well with this timing i was originally just gonna film like a water my greenhouse cabinet with me video but here we are with the pest video 
Okay, so I just ended up doing the Monstera Albo in the shower because obviously she is a little large for the kitchen sink. I think I'm actually going to move her to the plant room. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep her in the plant room um, just because she honestly doesn't seem to be doing that well in the cabinet. I don't know if she's too tall so she's too close to the lights or what, but I swear ever since she gave me this new leaf at the end of the summer, she just hasn't been doing great um so i don't know what do you guys think like i really don't know what she needs i think that she'll do okay in here though because the humidity because the humidity is still like 70 percent here so it's not bad um but yeah i guess i'll just monitor her i i don't know I don't know why variegated monstera is so tricky for me like my regular monstera i could like throw them at the wall and they'd be fine but these i just look at them and they start like disintegrating like i don't know what the heck okay guys my battery is dying for the second time today which tells me that this video is probably going to be getting long so i'm gonna wipe out the top section of the cabinet off camera put everything back and then i will come back and we'll wrap everything up okay so everything is back in now and clean hopefully <laughs> I'm probably not going to run the lights for very long today just because since the plants have neem oil on them, they are at high risk of burning. So I have to be aware of that. But yeah, this is just all the plants that are going to be in here for now until I am positive that there is no pests in here. I also did want to update you guys that I didn't find a solution to stick this light onto the glass shelf here. That one has been sticking really great with the double-sided tape because it's onto metal, so it's just working a lot better. But this one, nothing would stick. Um, it still has like the command strips on it, but it just, it does not stick. So what I ended up doing was just using this twine or whatever this is and just like literally tying it around. Um, so that's just <laughs> how I've left it until I find something that's going to stick. But honestly, it, I don't mind it. It doesn't really bother me. So I've just, you know, I've just kind of left it at that. Um, also, this weather stripping works so well, but it comes unstuck a lot. Like it just flops off. It'll be like hanging down and I have to stick it back on. So every time I close the door, I just like stick it back on and kind of lift it up and it's fine um but yeah i don't know if i like did something wrong um i did clean the surface with alcohol which you're supposed to do to make the adhesive stick better but so i don't know i don't know why it's not um sticking very well but whatever that's fine it honestly doesn't bother me too much because it works really well and i just keep resticking it on so um so that's pretty much going to be it for my little update slash pest treatment um, vlog video thing here. I was thinking like, I'm worried that since this plant is right beside the shelf that it might have pests as well, but I don't think it does. I'm not going to get carried away. There is a glass barrier, so hopefully it's fine. But yeah, I will try to keep you guys updated on how all the plants are doing and the plants that are in the plant room as well. I think next week I'm going to film an update about all my plants. So I will leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really truly appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more planty content. If you're interested in bonus content, I do have a Patreon. Everything will be linked down below and that really helps to support my channel. So thank you guys so much and have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.